there will be no secret rapture. Pre-tribulation rapture theology was popularized extensively in the 1830s by John Nelson Darby and the Plymouth Brethren, and further popularized in the United States in the early 20th century by the wide circulation of the Schofield Reference Bible. This teaching remains a staple doctrine of many so-called prophecy preachers who produce thousands of sermons, books, and online videos. Evangelical missionaries have carried this questionable teaching to every country of the world. Briefly, this doctrine teaches that there is to come a seven-year period of troubles called the Tribulation, caused by God and by Satan. Just before the beginning of those seven years, they say Jesus is to return unannounced to raise to life all his deceased followers, giving glorified bodies to them and those remaining alive, and then will rapture them all up from the earth, taking them safe into heaven. However, neither Jesus nor his apostles nor even the book of Revelation reveals anything about a seven-year period, about a secret return of Jesus, or about escaping the tribulation that will characterize the end times. Here is what Jesus said about the rapture. When Jesus' disciples asked him, What shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? He replied, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. As the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds. Jesus' Apostle Paul wrote the following. We beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, showing himself that he is God. The book of Revelation reveals the following. Here is the patience of the saints, here are they that keep the commandments of God, and the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth, yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labours, and their works do follow them. And I looked, and behold a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. Thus we are to endure hardship or persecution before and during the end times, for our hope remains the visible return of Jesus, when he will resurrect the dead and receive us unto himself.